I wanted an album that reflected who I was. I think when you have good music, it doesn't matter if it's classical or hip hop or rock, it's just good music. Um, and that's what I want people to hear when they hear this CD. The Rhythm Project basically it's my way of combining my love for all things percussion uh, with my love for piano. When you look at the pieces that I've put on, on this CD, Revolutionary Rhythm, I mean, these are composers that I'm drawn to because of how they use harmony, because of how they use rhythm. Carigliano, I think, is a perfect example of a composer who's living today and who understands so well um, the concept of drawing an audience in and taking them on, you know, a psychological journey. I actually discovered Tailspin in the shower. I was getting ready for, uh, I was thinking about uh, competing in a new music competition and Russell Pinkston's Tailspin was one of the required pieces. So I ordered the piece so that I could hear it and decide if that was what I wanted to play. I think performing the fugue of the sonata never gets old. I mean, you talk about an amazing combination of um, jazzy rhythm and, and amazing harmonies and really uh, funky rhythms. I think this is a surprise uh, to what people would normally think of as barber. And then we have um, the pieces by DBR, which are these hip-hop etudes. And I have to say, I'm really thankful to him because he allowed me to do something um, kind of out of the box. We made these beats to go along with these pieces. And to me, it's a lot of fun. And who says classical music shouldn't be fun and shouldn't be exciting? Unlike a lot of my uh, peers, I didn't start piano when I was three or four or five. I started pretty late when I was eight years old. And back in Charleston, South Carolina, I went through three teachers before I found, uh, you know, the one that asked me for the first time what, what it was that I wanted to play. And I told her I wanted to play Mozart. And she gave me, a, I don't know, some small sonatina. And I fell in love. I'm very proud to have competed in the Miss America pageant. I was actually first runner-up. I was told about the scholarship opportunities and um, even more intriguing to me was this idea that as a young woman I would be able to speak across the nation on an issue that was important to me. I jumped at the chance. I travel the nation speaking to youth um, on the issue of youth suicide and on the issue of mental health awareness. So. It was a year that changed my life. I was speaking in up to four schools daily. Um, I was speaking in front of Congress. I testified in front of Congress on behalf of mental health funding. I worked with the Surgeon General, uh, with Tipper Gore on mental health issues and on uh, forming a national strategy to prevent suicide. Had it not been for the Miss America pageant, um, I wouldn't have had this opportunity and it wouldn't have instilled in me this idea of speaking um, and promoting causes that are greater than my own cause. Talk about leaving a legacy. Um, leaving a legacy, making an impact is actually something that I'm always challenging other people to do. So that I hope that my legacy will be this idea of crossing boundaries, of breaking borders, um, expanding limits. I think that's important and I think in classical music especially, there needs to be a new infusion of youth and modern day culture and energy um, that will allow it to live on into the future. Today, I'm uh, pretty much defined by this concept of playing rhythmic music and I'm playing composers who have that same aesthetic.